Tato. I think that was uh, an excellent um, survey of the uh, vast extent of work that is coming out of um, Sprints and uh, this, this uh, clinic, this new clinic, uh, and the School of Sport and Recreation uh, and its associated activities. Um, it's just fabulous as Vice Chancellor to see the number of international linkages, uh, the number of connections to uh, supporting and other groups uh, that are outside the, uh, the world of academe, uh, and the connections that we have with other universities and researchers. Uh, and so um, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome again to AUT uh, Lindsay Carter, um, who brings um, his uh, presence and experience from another academic arena that we've been associated with. Um, and it's a real pleasure uh, a double pleasure to welcome him back on this occasion to open the new J.E. Lindsay Carter Cananthropometry Clinic and Archive. Now, it says here in my notes, in case you're not quite sure exactly what cananthropometry is, well, I'm sure that everybody in the room is quite sure what cananthropometry is. And we have, you know, we have some black belts for darn uh, in that field in the room. So um, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but uh, Lindsay is Professor Emeritus at San Diego State University. And the first time I met Lindsay, he generously gave up a day uh, to show me and another person from the university here at AUT around San Diego State and um, a little bit of San Diego as well. And it was uh, a wonderful day that we spent together. Um, I found out that Lindsay and I actually were at the same high school. Now, I'm not quite sure whether we overlapped there. Um, we didn't actually meet one another, um, but uh, we both went to a very prestigious school in New Zealand, King's, um, King's High School in Dunedin. Um, usually in Auckland, we just say King's. Uh, but um, it was great to, to learn that. And good things really do come out of Dunedin. Um, Lindsay was... Um, a, t a teacher and researcher in, of course, uh, anatomy, biomechanics, and cananthropometry at San Diego State from 1962 until he retired in 1993. Before he was at San Diego State, uh, he received his PhD from the University of Iowa, which he attended as a Fulbright Scholar, um, and then he took up appointment as a lecturer back at the University of Otago. Lindsay's written extensively in the areas of physique and performance, as we've heard, um, cananthropometry and exercise science. He's written six books, 18 book chapters, and more than 70 scholarly papers. His honors include being elected fellow of the American Academy of Physical Education in 1982. And again, as we've heard, he served as president of the International Society for the Advancement of Cananthropometry. Lindsay has an international reputation as being the father of modern day somatotyping. Um, and uh, he has co authored with colleague Barbara Honeyman, sorry, Barbara Honeyman Heath, and pub published by Cambridge University Press, uh, the definitive text on body type in relation to health and sporting ability. So it is indeed uh, a real honour to have Lindsay's name associated with our clinic and archive here uh, at AUT. Uh, Lindsay is a world leader in training and accreditation within the field of applied anatomy and cananthropometry. He's involved in, been involved in the initial steps to formulate an accreditation scheme, which we've heard about. Um, he's a strong commitment to the education of students and colleagues throughout the world, and especially here in New Zealand, his home country. Uh, the first J.E. Lindsay Carter Cananthropometry Laboratory was opened at Akaranga Campus. That's now PhD spaces, uh, which indicates the development of our work, that we need space for PhD students uh, in a uh, greater amount. Uh, and uh, Lindsay has been providing academic and financial support to AUT uh, since that time. So, as I said when I began, it's a pleasure to welcome Lindsay Carter back to AUT this time to officially open the new J.E. Lindsay Carter Cananthropometry Clinic and Archive. And I now invite Lindsay to come forward and do the honours uh, in that opening. Thank you. 